For my next experiment, I'd like to take some of this clay that we dug up at the farm the other day. Um, and in it, there are these chunks of uh, dark red clay. I'm going to try to separate the red clay from the brown clay using water. This clay is real dry right now, so first thing, I'm going to add a bunch of rainwater to it and let it soak to soften it up. This clay has been uh, softening up and dissolving for two days now. I think that's about all it's going to get. There's still a few little clumps in here that haven't been completely dissolved. But for the most part, the clay is suspended in the water. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, dump it through this strainer that I've rigged up and uh, make sure that we don't get any particles or rocks or anything like that passing through into our final product. It's been uh, softening up and I've been stirring it up uh, every you know half a day or so for about two days and uh, I think most of it's dissolved it's going to dissolve so now uh, I'm going to try to pour it into a new container and leave the sediment in this container but I'm going to pour it through a strainer because this does have like some chunks of wood and other debris in it uh, so now we'll just give that a try Okay, well, we'll just let this sit for a while and see if any sediment uh, deposits on the bottom. If not, then it should be clean enough and we'll be able to start removing the water from it. An interesting sneak peek into the uh, parent rock that this clay is coming from. Looks like we got a mixture of reddish and uh, whitish limestones here. And there's also a little bit of chert. Here's a chert flake right here. What I find really interesting are these little rounded pieces here that uh, almost look like riverbed type of pebbles, but I'm sure it's just a result of chemical erosion. So just like the clay, we've got a mixture of white and red parent rock. After two or three days, uh, a lot of the clay has settled out of suspension and now there's uh, a layer of water on top and so we're just going to decant that water off of there and uh, let it continue to settle some more. I believe this is our last frost right here. Last hard freeze anyways. Got down to like 28 last night. It's uh, April 11th or so, or 10th. No, what is it? It's April 8th. Interestingly, this is very interesting because I have been keeping this inside in hopes that it would dry out. Uh, it's actually been like at least two or three weeks since I started this experiment and the water had stopped separating from the clay and the clay was just looked like it was just gonna have to dry out the rest of the way just by evaporation but as you can see last night it froze and the water clearly is in a separate layer from the clay so I'm gonna watch this closely as it thaws out and maybe uh, that'll actually help me get a little bit more of the water out of it this clay had been sitting uh, before it froze for about a week, maybe a week and a half, and no water was separating off of it. 
And so it was pretty much just uh, drying by evaporation at that point. But after freezing, now it's thawed out, there's quite a bit of water that has uh, settled off. So that's actually a viable way to separate it out if it starts getting stubborn towards the end. So I'm gonna dump this water off here and see what, uh, what we're left with. At this point, uh, the clay is getting pretty dry. It's still not dry enough to, uh, to work with. It's a little too soppy in parts. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I've got a spot cleared off on my workbench here. I'm gonna spread this out so that it can dry out a little bit quicker. Now I'll leave that for a couple days and see what happens. After sitting overnight, the uh, clay has dried up considerably. So I'm going to scrape it all up into a pile and see just how dry it is. We're finally back to solid clay, but uh, still a little bit sticky. Let's see if we can use some sun and wind to dry it out the rest of the way. We didn't really have any sun, but we did have plenty of wind. And uh, after sitting here for about 24 hours, I think this stuff is at a good workable point. I'm going to put it all together and see what we were working with. If anything, it's a little bit too dry on the outside. So what I'm going to do is put it all in a plastic bag and seal it up so that 